Hello, everyone, and welcome to the video. Today, we've got my physical Nintendo Switch collection. Now, the actual thing I've got is a Switch OLED. I got that earlier this year before Christmas. I enjoyed it very much. The first game on this is actually my favourite game The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a long game, it took, I put like almost 500 hours into it, but those hours I couldn't spend it doing anything better. Best game I've ever played, to be honest. That's inside out. I've got all the game cards in, uh, like, the case that I use for all my games. Next we've got Skyward Sword. HD version. That was really on the Wii, which is obviously not HD. That's inside out for that. I haven't played this game yet, but I've got the Amiibo for it. That will help with that, which is of that bird. Can see the back out, and with this game, we actually got a steel book with this and that. I love getting steel books for games, to be honest. A nice collector's item that's inside, and then next one again, that I started but not completed Link's Awakening, and that also came with steel, which I'll show in a second. That's the art, that's back. And that's inside. Should I just get this out for you? Just see the full art and stuff. Because Evan tied and I think it's called. No. Am I that's one from Breath of the Wild? I think it is. It's Colin Col Col Tight Island. And the a Game Boy style steelbook, which is sick. Yeah, Link's Wake in there, as if it was a little Game Boy. I'm just playing it now. Let's start, and that's the inside. Turn all different artwork from the original game. Now the next game, I have sold it, but I've still got the steelbook for it. Basically, it's Mario Maker Two. I played it for quite a bit with a friend at the time, and. A good game, but it doesn't have much length to it really because it's usually just making like courses, and I weren't very good at it. But I did get some courses available on RT Game Videos because I sent something for him to try and he played them, which is sick. Now I've got Mario Party Superstars, a great Mario Party game. I did have the other one, but I got rid of that one in favour of this one. Because like this one I got online, the other one got online later on in its time, but after it basically lost a lot of users. Yeah, this one is really good, it got a lot of old boards and a good return to form for Mario Party. Now, uh, another one of my favourite games of all times Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch, obviously. 48 tracks of Looks like action, but obviously now there's a lot more than 48 because with the expansion pack, which I obviously have for Mario Kart 8, basically it's a never eight game, but that does mean that Mario Kart 9 is probably a good few years out still. As this expansion pack for it is going to go till the end of 2023, but I do recommend it has got all the return, almost all the return courses, or at least the good ones, at least. I think it's mainly ones that. Have been done on a handheld like DS and 3DS because then we put onto Mario Kart Tour and all Mario Kart Tour tracks are going on to the DLC. So you have my favourite games from the Wii U but put onto the Switch Super Mario 3D World and they've added Bowser's Fury which I'm yet to play. I can't wait to play that one. I just not got, got around to it yet. That seems I cover. And obviously with this game I once again got a steel book. I've got 3D World on this side and Bowser's Fury on this side. Just doing that so I can see more. Basically, that's the inside artwork and it's got the name on this side as well. But yeah, one of my favourite Wii U games and I've played that for many hours on the Wii U. Now, this one Nintendo Switch Sports. I like it, but I don't love it. It's got online 
from the Wii, basically. It's like the read on Wii Sports Club, but made it better. Actually made it what it was supposed to be, rather than their online split and part thing like they did last time. It's got full online with all different sports, different sports obviously, but it's still got tennis and golf and one other I think from Wii Sports Resort. It's also had some others as well. Nothing in the inside, but I do recommend this game if you do like your sports with most controls. And it is still worth to get if you like, obviously, to be competitive online. Now, this next, next game is one of my favourite other Switch games, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've played many hours of this. I got into it quite late on in the game. I think I played it last year. I think because... I got I basically got it from my, my mum, who basically played the game originally. So I thought I'd give it a go. I loved it. And I can't wait to play the next one when that comes out. Probably not going to be a while, I think it's the same tune that does the tune. So, who knows about working on the next one now for the next Nintendo console. Now, Louise Mansion 3, another one I've yet to play. I know it's been out a while, but there's been other games I've been playing in the meantime. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3, I loved Luigi's Mansion 2. I think I got stuck on that one at some point. I can't remember if I completed it or not. I know I only really saw the completion of it on YouTube. I don't know if I've actually played it. I know it also got DLC later on. Some online stuff. I'm not sure exactly what that was, to be honest. But yeah, a good Luigi's Mansion 3, I'm guessing. No one completed it at the time. And next one, Skyrim. I actually liked it on the Switch, I not played it, but I did play a good chunk of it. I'm going to to find the, the Link outfit, but it runs better than you think. Now, this sets out and just got it because I wanted to get this game on the Switch because I got the 3X 3DS version and a, on the Wii U version, I love them both. But now, I want this game on the Switch. Xbox and maybe PlayStation because it's, I got it for free, I think, probably. But yeah, nothing in this. Uh, but Chase McCain, I have got Lego figure of him from the Wii U version. I thought all 3DS, but I love this game. I love the 3DS version as well. It's slightly similar, so it's slightly different, I mean. Now, I'm all right, especially just now. I'm not playing much of this game yet. Again, like, there's a lot of the games that I tend to play. More often than going through a whole game, but when I get to time, I love to go through them. I love Splatoon 2, put many hours into that, so I got this, but not had the urge to get into Splatoon much because I can play things like FIFA and Mario Kart 8 again. I just not had the urge to play, play Splatoon again because I used to play it with a friend and I've not been really playing it as much either, and that's when I enjoy it most when I play it with a friend. So, now into PAL 2, and we're starting off with, again, that I've just completed. <coughs> it's got many other content, and it's a very controversial one. Pokemon Scarlet. I love this game, to be honest. I put 120 hours into it. And I, the performance didn't really matter to me, because it still ran smoothly enough, and it put didn't come up with anything that was game breaking that spoiled the immersion. I think the only issue was that it just weren't running really at top frame rate instead of points and had quite a lot of glitches that most people like never going to play in the game in the first place we could go up on. And in fact that because it's a like a like a second first party game, it should be performing better than that. But hey it's Game Freaks' first time doing this type of game after Arceus. And well, because of they were developing this alongside Arceus, so they couldn't really do much after Arceus with that. And it's the second full Pokemon game that I've completed. Now, Pokemon Arceus, I'm not having this long, and I'm going to complete this now. I've completed Scarlet. I was originally going to do it all the way around, but I decided to wait for Scarlet to basically prefer that and then get into this one. I think there's code in this, I'm not going to open that. 
Okay, not redeemed anything yet. This game has got little acclaim, so never looking forward to that one. So yeah, we're into the Pokemons now. Pokemon Blink Diamond. Again, another one that I'm yet to get into. Because basically got Scarlet to get me into the Pokemon thing. So I'm gonna go through the rest of them. Because Pokemon games I started Shield in Sword and Shield and I like it but then just got stuck and that just kind of put me on a bad red thing with Pokemon but it's brought back with Scarlet. Next two are together Sword and Shield. I got this in double pack. First Shield and now Sword. Same in size. And pretty much the same backs, I think. Other than that, I like the different colours for the different version. So, yeah. I started it, but I think what happened is that I imported some of my Pokemon from Pokemon Home, and that basically I had two high level Pokemon, and they just kept disobeying me, and it all got out of hand because I didn't know better at the time. Here's a still book for it. The different messages on the different sides. I've got the shield, no, yeah, shield character is in there. Codes there, I believe, have been used. If not, then you've got a free code, but it's still usable. I think, yeah, it's just Dynamax crystals. You can have them if you want. Don't know if I've used one or not, to be honest. Then, the next Pokemon dual game that. This was a Pokemon game that I completed and that I loved, Let's Go Pikachu, and then also Let's Go Eevee that my mum had. Sorry about that. Yeah, it just shows a game map. This was a game that basically got me back into Pokemon, and then I did Sword, and then that took me out of here because I got into from Pokemon Go, then Let's Go Pikachu got me into properly, then went into Sword, and yeah. Same insides. Yeah, if you're new to Pokemon, haven't really tried it yet, those are great games to start off with. Now, next one Mario Golf Super Rush. It's probably the first sports game that I just didn't like. I mean, it's it suffices as a, as a golf game, but it's not got overly much Mario to it. It's also got different like surprise game modes and obviously the Nintendo feel to it, but like the, like the actual like speed golf didn't really suit me and it was a bit forced on at some point in my career. So yeah, that isn't story mode, but like with a switch, the Mario Sports games are not really hit home at all. Mario Tennis Open, that was fine, but nothing special. And never really carried on forward from that. So Mario Golf, it was alright at the time, but never really took anything forward. And then Mario Strikers, that was just a very basic game. Now, I think it's similar with the Mario Strikers Olympic Games. Like, I think it was a decent Olympics game, but probably not what people remember from like DS versions. I think this one might even have been, yeah, you know, a Sega, so that might explain why. Because obviously, like, they probably didn't have like the best. Like, they would not like three games at the time. I think they were like Mario World and Sonic, Sonic for mobile, and the main Olympics game that came out well before the actual Olympics took place. So, yeah, they had three games to make for the Olympics, so obviously, they didn't have it much, probably that much time to focus on each version. And Fantasy Freddy's Help Wanted. I love this game. Not complete it, but I love the basically I'm complete because I've basically seen it completed already on videos. So I, I I just want to go through it when I want for what I want basically. Because if Fantasy Freddy's you get what you say, what he says, and basically it's all the games put into a like a VR thing. But this is not the VR version of it. It's like the basically like a two three D version. But it's basically the base Final Fantasy game put into a bundle and you play through them as if it's like 
you go through like a, a story type thing. Now, this one I just got for Christmas, Kirby the Forgotten Land. I remember seeing this when it came out, loved the little side of it, and loved Kirby. And it won't be long before we get into this game. It's my first Kirby game. So, yeah, high expectations of this game, and I'm trying to meet it. But I've probably been quite a noob to this because I've never played Kirby before. Life is Strange Arcade Bay Collection. I've seen a lot of Life is Strange and I love the look of it and just play them because I've got Life is Strange True Colors on both next gen consoles. I just need to play through that. And I've also got, now I've also got Arcade Bay Collection and I've got that before the story mastered to basically download as well. But now you've seen that code for the product registration card, I'll have to register that before the video goes up. And I'll make sure to do that. Now, we'll finish on probably one of the best games, best Star Wars games I've played, one of the best Lego games I've played, and it's just like, up there is one of the best games I've played. Lego Star Wars Scalper Saga. I've not played this version yet, and they got it for Christmas. But I have played it on Xbox Series X and I loved it and completed it almost fully. Just to get all of the collectibles. But I've clicked all the story mode and got all the different achievements and everything. So yeah, I can't wait to go through it again on Switch. Hopefully the performance is decent enough for it. I've seen videos of it and it seems alright enough. Because there is 30 frame second versions on the other consoles, I think it's 30 frame second on Xbox One. And I've been playing that a bit, now I've got my Xbox One X back to use. So yeah, hope you, in, hope you basically enjoyed this video. One last thing I've got to show you, Link's Awakening Art Book. I'll just get through it. Basically, from the, I got the collection edition from Link's Awakening. I love this collection edition. Got all different artwork from the game. I'm not showing you too much in case you don't play the game yet. But it's amazing. I love art books, to be honest. So, yeah. That's that. And basically, now, I'll show you a bit of the switch. Yeah, here is everything that I've currently got on it. Got like, all the different games downloaded. And then there's also like stuff like Fortnite, South Park, and then there's also I think a few other things like Mario Odyssey, and there's also Overwatch Watch Two. There's also Splatoon Two. I put a lot of hours in, and there's my Odyssey there, then Mario 3D, all starches, Mario Galaxy, Sunshine, and Mario 64 put in a bundle. And I love Mario 64, this first time I played it completion, and it's an amazing game. I still need to play Mario Sunshine, I keep wanting to play Mario Sunshine. It's one of the games I've been wanting to play for ages, I think this is the perfect time to play it. Same with Galaxy, to be honest. Trials Rising. When Robbie's doing a battle, you need to play that, you know, if I like that, I'll get the new game, Sparks of Hope. FIFA 21, Four Guys, and stuff like that. Captain Total Treasure Stacker, no, still need to play that game, but I played it a bit on the Wii U. I liked it enough, but I think I got stuck on a level, and that is really convincing because I'm a bit of a noob with games. Especially I was when I was a bit younger, but I just got stuck in, like, Went back to the old traditional like FIFA and that and just never looked back. Yeah. Got Mario is there. The most put manager. Obviously there's Pokemon Home there, which I still able to transfer Pokemon from that to Scarlet and basically all the way around. No triple pursuit. 
and other stuff like that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one. I'm not sure how many of you clicked off already. I'll skip to the end. If you in the last two, still thank you for watching. I don't mind if you watch for five seconds or the whole video. Still benefits me. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.